Hello children. Today we are going to learn conjunctions. So first let's understand the learning objectives of conjunctions. Learning objectives. The students will be able to define the term conjunction, identify different types of conjunctions, list conjunctions within each category, will recognize and use conjunction correctly in sentences. Children, let's read a passage. The oranges are washed and cleaned when they arrive at the processing unit. The oranges are squeezed in machines to extract the juice. As soon as the juice is extracted, it is filtered so that the seeds and particles are strained out. Juice is pasteurized in order that food safety is ensured. While oranges are processed, natural components such as orange aroma, orange oil from the peel and pulp are separated from the orange juice. After the juice is pasteurized, these natural Orange components may be added back to the orange juice for optimal flavor. All the words highlighted in red are conjunctions. They join words, phrases and sentences together. So a conjunction is a word used for joining words phrases or sentences together. Types of conjunctions. Basically, there are two types of conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions. What are coordinating conjunctions? Its main function is to join words, phrases and clauses together, which are usually grammatically equal. Aside from that, this type of conjunctions is placed in between the words or groups of words that it links together and not at the beginning or at the end. Examples of coordinating conjunctions. The crane caught a fish and flew away. Here, the crane did two things that are equally important, but not necessarily related. It took a fish, it also flew away. Thus, we can use and to connect these phrases. So, and is a coordinating conjunction. Children, did you notice and is placed and linked between the sentences. That is not at the beginning or at the end. Second example, do you want milk or juice? Here, or is a coordinating conjunction as there is an option between milk or juice. An easy way to remember the important coordinating conjunctions is to use the mnemonic device fanboys. That is, F stands for for, A stands for and, N stands for nor, D stands for but, O stands for or, Y stands for yet, S stands for so. Now, let's understand subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunctions connect two group of words. A subordinating conjunction joins two clauses, one of which is dependent or subordinate to the other. The subordinate or dependent clause depends on the main clause for its full meaning. 
examples of subordinating conjunction. I met them when we were in Paris. The main clause here is I met them. Subordinate clause when we were in Paris. Subordinating conjunction when. Second, Stephen didn't go to work yesterday because he was ill. Here, the main clause is Stephen didn't go to work yesterday. Subordinate clause because he was ill and subordinating conjunction is because. An easy way to remember the important subordinating conjunctions is to use the mnemonic device, a white bus. That is, A stands for after, although, as. W stands for when, whenever, where, wherever, why, whereas. H stands for how. I stands for if. T stands for than, though, relative pronouns that. E stands for even though, even if. B stands for because, before. U stands for unless, until. S stands for since, so that. Now children, let's try building up a story using coordinating conjunctions. Here you have to complete the sentence using each of the coordinating conjunctions wherever possible. The dog leapt at the cat for the cat was trying to eat its food. The dog leapt at the cat and the cat ran away. The dog leapt at the cat but it could not catch the cat. The dog leapt at the cat or the cat leapt at the dog. The dog leapt at the cat, yet the cat continued eating its food. The dog leapt at the cat, so the cat ran and hid under the car. Now children, let's identify subordinating conjunctions from this poem. Whenever I get up, after the alarm clock has gone off, before the sun comes up, as I stumble to the shower, I slowly get ready for my day of school. When I arrive at school, as I'm talking to my friends, before classes begin, while I do my work, I long to be back in my cozy bed. I hope you were able to identify subordinating conjunctions. So let's check. Here, the subordinating conjunctions are whenever, after, before, as, when, as, before, and why. I hope you're very clear with conjunctions and its types. As conjunctions are important in conveying the whole thought of the spoken or written language. Thank you.